Hello, my name is Tamira Thane. I'm a 60-year-old Air Force veteran currently living in a quiet community in Martinsburg, West Virginia. I served in the U.S. Air Force in 1980, from 1984 to 1989 as a cryptologic linguist, and I was stationed in the European theater. I've always believed in equality for all in America, and that's what I believe is the most beautiful thing about America, that we all deserve the same treatment. I remember believing from the oath that we took that this was the stance of our military and this was the stance of our country as a whole. And I was very, very proud to work on behalf of the United States. I have been appalled by Trump's treatment of our veterans and war heroes ever since he rode down his little golden escalator. But his actions in Section 60 in disrespecting our most recent war dead is just something that's so appalling, I can't imagine any veteran ever supporting him again. There's a man on my street who flies the American flag with a Trump flag below it. And I find this utterly disrespectful to the war dead who Trump trampled in Arlington. I told this man that I felt that this flag was incredibly disrespectful for our, to our war dead, and that as a veteran, I was highly offended on their behalf. He didn't care. Therefore, I have devised a simple plan that I will be executing every day until the election that I'm able. Each day, I will walk to his home, I will salute the American flag flying at the top of his flagpole, and I will flip off the Trump flag flying below on behalf of all of our war dead who cannot speak for themselves. Today is day two of this little project of mine, and I have no cameras following me. I have nobody documenting that I'm doing it, but I am doing it. I welcome all vets to join me either here or in your own communities. The truth is the more vets who speak out, the more vets who stand together, the sooner we can put a stop to this abuse of those who gave all for our country. Thank you.